Yeah. Well, how do you feel about being in LA then, Barry? How do you feel about being in LA? You need to find a telephone now. Well, How do you feel? It. I feel a lot warmer already, I feel a bit clammy in fact. But uh, all our luggage is here, we're all in one piece, we're ready to go. Let's go find some uh, lodgings then. Let's go. So we're outside the airport and we're waiting for the bus. We seem to have got a place. It's a backpacker's it paradise. It's the most epic airport I've ever been to. It's just, what time is it? It's like half seven and it's just non stop buses, taxis. It's just nothing. No, I don't even know what bus we're looking for. But it's warm. Perhaps. Is it number seven? Well, uh, like Barry said, we're waiting for the bus to come. Notice our breath. <gasps> there's no steam. Look, there's no snow. And over there, there's palm trees. I don't know if you can see them over there in the distance. Like we say, we're just waiting for this bus to come and pick us up. <laughs> then we can try and find our digs. Yep, that's where we're going. Whether we get there tonight is another this thing. This fun. It's exciting, isn't it? It's warm, I don't care. It's though. warm. Our driver picked us up in his smooth running, comfortable minibus. The best way to describe him would be to say, if you could cross Burt Reynolds with Tom Selleck and throw in a dash of George Hamilton, you'd have a close, accurate comparison. There wasn't much room for conversation with his loud music and brash personality, and to top it off, his annoying countdown system. Well, good morning. It's quarter to twelve. Uh, it's been a it's been an interesting night. Me and Barry had to check in at the Adventure Hotel. It looked like some kind of Indiana Jones site, and uh, we had a bit of a restless night. Met a great lad, Ryan, and he helped us through. He suggested that uh, if you want to get anywhere in LA, you've got to get a car, and we were a bit sceptical about it, to be honest. So we had a talk about it last night, and we've decided to get a car and unfortunately we haven't got a clue what we're doing we've just signed for it now about five minutes ago it was really really easy uh, my mouth's going all dry Barry's on the map and uh, I think you should take a look at one thing that's gonna really frighten us and it's this yes people back home we have got a car and it's a Pontiac, white, Grand Brie, turbo, and it's this year's model. And I'm quite concerned because I've never driven on the right-hand side of the road before, and I've never driven a car on the left-hand side. So we're going to be totally lost. So this is it, this is it. We're in LA. We're going to have a drive round and see if we can smash into something. A perfect timing, a plane's coming over, so we're right close to the airport. So wish us luck. Here we go. I don't know what to say to start with. Uh, this is the map of California. We picked up around here and we've come all the way down to here. So we're still in one piece. My hands, I don't know if you can see, are a little bit sweaty. Hopefully in this light you can see them a little bit moist. Uh, it, it's a bit hair raising. I'm so glad it's a Saturday. Not now. Sunday. Sunday, sorry. It's a Sunday because it's a quiet day. We're, uh, 
we're doing okay. We're getting used to the car. There's lots of switches and that like. Uncle Aiden, you'd be proud of this car. It's a really sports coupe type thing. Uh, I don't know what else to say really. I mean, uh, we're doing okay. Unfortunately, we've got to stop to have something to eat. It's half past 12. We've been in the car for an hour, so we've been driving around and getting our bearings. We really need something to eat now and unfortunately we've had to succumb to a McDonald's because it's the nearest thing that we can pack into. So we're going to have something to eat, see if we can find a map and then we're going to try and get to Hollywood. Hopefully we'll get there in one piece, we shall see, so uh, watch this space. So then Barry, how do you feel? I'm, I'm more relaxed than I thought I'd be to be honest, I know Rob's doing the driving but it's, it's frightening but it's not bad. I th we haven't been on a freeway yet, which I think will be the well, ultimate test. We'll do that after lunch. But once we know where we're going, I think it's quite it's 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 great. That freedom thing is just really it's it's vital. If we hadn't have done this, we wouldn't have done nothing. I don't think so. So how how long have we got the car for? We got it for a week, so we're just going to use today and tomorrow to just to get to know it, and we might me drive to San Francisco. You know, Stop up there, perhaps. Yeah, along the coast, which I recommend. So, and how much did it cost? The whole thing cost about, with insurance, about two hundred and eighty and ninety dollars, which isn't bad, really. It's quite good. It's so it's about, about one hundred and sixty quid. One hundred and sixty quid for the week, which for is week, good. Yeah. Which would, considering we were having cheap digs and using public transport, would have balanced out quite quite well. So it's. It's not too bad, I mean, it's really good, so... We can have some tea now because we're a bit famished, but that freedom thing and... Yeah. It's great, we want to drive up on the coast. <laughs> so it's quite, yeah, it's quite exciting, it's, it's good. It's, Rob's doing brilliant, he is doing brilliant. I'm going to have a go soon, I'm going to have a go. Watch this face. Watch this yeah. face. <laughs> That's when we have the crash, so... But it's got air conditioning, it's lovely, it's really nice. So. Another experience? We'll catch you later. So Rob, be ready to do some more cruising. Well the initial shock's over now. Now we've had some indeed. As always, the nutritional McDonald's. And hopefully this will be our last McDonald's because they'll try a few different restaurants. But we've had nothing on morning, it's like quarter to one. So hopefully we'll be tuned up and ready to hit the road as they say. So it's our first McDonald's at Redondo's Beach. And where that is, we don't know. We haven't got a clue. In fact, we are officially lost. But we've got the data on here to prove it. And a tank full of petrol. And a so tank full right. of petrol, so we're okay. So we'll see you back in the car later. So what are you looking for, Barry? Well, the weather is lovely, so it's time for the sunglasses to come out. Let's roll. 